Buckle up, we're talking about car posture, partial driving. I'm Dr. John, you just call me John. A lot of my patients spend a lot of time behind the wheel, just like everybody else. And so we're gonna go over posture, how we can sit in the car in a much better position to decrease tension, especially in the neck and the shoulders. All that tension that poor posture can create can cause muscle tightness and even uh, pain. So we're gonna hope to reduce that. Oftentimes that can just help uh, pain and the tension solve itself, but definitely recommend body work. So whether it's a massage therapist, chiropractor such as myself or a physiotherapist, okay? So we're gonna basically go from uh, feet to head instead of head to toe, just easier that way. All right team, before we can even talk about our position, we need to discuss the position of this seat. So uh, every car that I've been in, the bottom part of the seat is angled back a little bit and that's gonna help pull you back, kind of suck you into the seat. Uh, as, a, as a note, when you're driving a car, you want to be as if you're like in a spaceship firing off into space and you're getting sucked back into the seat. You don't want to be forward. We, we, we want our head not to be floating in the air but touching the uh, back seat, okay? We don't want to be a bobblehead. Drive around bobbling our head around. Don't be a bobblehead like my mom. I think it's because she wants to protect her hair or something. So don't do that. Don't be a bobblehead, all right? No bobbleheads. It's me. I'm the bobblehead. Yes! Oh! No bobbleheads allowed. So you need to make sure that your seat is reclined back a little bit. And I'm not talking about being super far back. But we want to maintain a 90 degree angle. And if the bottom part that we're sitting on is tilted back a bit, we need to recline so that we maintain a 90 degree angle. If it's a bit more vertical, it's going to really push you forward and you're going to end up driving like this. We don't want that. We want to be back. So if I move my seat into a weird position, like this, this, I can't, I can't relax back. It's pushing me forward. My head naturally comes forward. It's, it's pushing me forward. I would have to use muscles to force myself back here. So if we recline a little bit into a, a, a 90 degree angle, now it's so easy to just relax into this position. Posture is all about being relaxed. So now that we hopefully have our uh, seat angle correct, we have to talk about how forwards and backwards it is. If we're super far back, that's going to make us reach forward. We're going to round our shoulders forward, that's not good. So we want to bring our seat forward so that we can relax our arms down and very easily contact the wheel. We don't want to be reaching for the wheel. We want to bring us to the wheel. Now let's talk quickly about where, where do we grab the wheel. Do we grab it up here? You grab it up here and, and you're gonna be, it pulls you forward. Grab it closer to the bottom, around the sides or the bottom, okay? It's gonna help you be much more relaxed. Now we're gonna talk about position of the feet and legs, because that's really simple, so let's knock that out of the way. Our feet should be somewhat close together. When they're close together, our knees can be farther apart. So our legs should be resting against the door and the center console here and when we do that our legs are totally relaxed now let's talk about the hips we want our low back to be concave at the back 
a nice little tilt of the pelvis will do that. So we need to tilt our pelvis forward. So we really tuck our butt forward so that we're, we're getting our, uh, basically our butthole to touch the seat. Yeah, there you go. This way, our back is gonna have a little bit of that con, concave, concavity. And if your seat has a bit of a lumbar support, sometimes seats have a, like a button you can push to kind of puff that up, and that would be good to do as well. You could also buy a lumbar support if you feel you need it. The last major thing we need to talk about is what do we do with these darn elbow things? Well, you can have them just at your sides, relaxed at your sides, touching the seat at the back, not forward, but relaxed. You can do this, but even better to relax the shoulders even more because when you're grabbing the wheel, inevitably these shoulders, they're gonna kind of rise up to your ears a little bit. And that's because the elbows have nothing to be supported on. Well, in this car, and hopefully yours, my uh, glove box, or whatever this is, in the center console, it has a sliding uh, top on it, and it can slide forward. Makes an awesome elbow rest. And oh my gosh, look at this. The door here has another armrest. I relax my elbows on these armrests and here there's no tension in my body. I'm just totally relaxed and able to, to drive in, in, a, in a way that doesn't build tension in my body. A lot of my patients, they spend a lot of time on the roads just like everybody else. They have pain in the neck, pain in the back, tight shoulders. And, and when I give these suggestions, it really helps all that tension fade away. And then with it, over time, the, the pain and the stiffness as well. And maybe a little bit of my amazing, you know, treatments play into that. Who knows? Hope you learned something. Hope you can apply some of this information. I think I covered everything. If you have any questions, comment below and as I always have said it's better to be a smart ass than a dumbass. So hopefully you learned a thing or two and uh, you can be a smart ass like me. All right see you in the next video. Hey get in the car with me I got candy. I got candy bar for you. Yeah candy. Don't eat sugar.